Hello everyone, welcome again in Angman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will have a very interesting case and it's about predicting a production behavior of a well after water breakthrough. Okay, so I take the case from Reservoir Engineering Handbook written by uh, Tarek Ahmed. It's very important book, very informative book. And hopefully this exercise can give us a good foundation in doing the calculation, okay? This kind of forecast can be generated using software like material balance, uh, MBAL software, you know, and you can also create like a simple dynamic modeling using any software and yeah, you, you can generate the result after water breakthrough. But of course, we are also interested in doing the manual calculation, right? So this is it. This is the case that we have and we will solve it. All right, we open with the case. So I'm going to read the case for you. The rock, fluid, and the related reservoir properties of a bottom water drive reservoir are given below. Okay, so first we have bottom water drive reservoir. Water drive reservoir can be bottom water drive or can be edge water drive. In this case, we have bottom water drive. And we have well spacing of 80 acres and initial oil column thickness of 80 feet. Okay. And we have HP, the perforation interval 20 feet, well bore radius 0 0.25 feet, and conat water saturation 25%, oil density. 47 pound per cubic feet and M mobility ratio of 3.1 oil formation volume factor 1.2 density of water 63 porosity 14% and oil viscosity of 1.6 centipoise drainage radius or you can also call it reservoir radius reservoir surrounding the well it it's not necessarily, it doesn't necessarily mean RE is the entire field or entire software. It is, first thing first, it means the drainage radius of the well, okay? So the drainage radius, or you can also call it the limited reservoir radius is 1053 feet. Residual oil saturation 0 0.35 feet and density, I mean viscosity of water 0 0.82 centipoise. So the oil is more viscous than the water. And we also have the information about the horizontal permeability 60 millidarsis and the vertical permeability 6 millidarsis. So the anisotropy, the permeability anisotropy or the permeability ratio is 10% typical and we need to calculate the water cut behavior assuming this is a vertical well in the reservoir assuming a total production rate of 500 1000 and 1500 stock time barrel per day okay please notice that it is a vertical well so it's quite a, a strict assumption actually and we also have another strict assumption that the reservoir is of course homogeneous. There is no way we can uh, we can we can do calculation for heterogeneous reservoir. Okay, using this simple calculation. Okay, so we we assume that the reservoir will be homogeneous in terms of the porosity, in terms of the permeability, of course, and also in terms of the fluid properties. So, okay, so this is the case that we have. So now let's talk about the strategy before finally we will go into the solution. So we have several steps. It's not very complicated. 